Yesterday, the Post-Gazette's new executive editor, Keith Burris, sat down with John Delano to discuss the recent turbulence in the PG's newsroom. Today, John has more from Burris about his role as the paper's top newsman. When Keith Burroughs became the Post-Gazette's new executive editor after the alleged newsroom misconduct of publisher John Robinson Block, he sent an email to employees. You said, we must de-escalate. We must heal. What did you mean by that? Well, I think that um, I, without getting into, into uh, the past, it's important that uh, any organization stick together and not shoot itself in the foot and not, not make war on itself or on its ownership. His role as editor? A listener and uh, a big brother. But having gone 13 years without a pay raise, reporters and their guild have issues with Block and vice versa, it seems. I can't see that the, the family is uh, so unhappy with the guild. Uh, you know, I would put it this way. Well, um, that's not what that Saturday would seem to represent. Well, again, I mean, I couldn't speak to that. But um, I would say this, that um, it's... Uh, it's no secret that uh, you can't make much of a profit in newspapers these days. Burroughs says the blocks are losing money in Pittsburgh. So to me, we're here because of this family. You can understand that no reporter in any profession wants to go years without a pay raise. Nobody in any profession, period. But Burroughs says you can't put a dollar on professional satisfaction. It's an excellent team. It's very smart people. He also warns against political correctness, citing the Jesse Smollett story. We're so sure of what we think that um, that that we don't we don't want to question ourselves or, or let the facts undo us. And of course, that's the opposite of our mission as journalists. Burris now oversees both news and editorials, once split to keep one from influencing the other. He defends that by citing an earlier editor. John Craig was in charge of both at the Post-Gazette. John Delano, KDKA News.